One thing that's very well known here in the low country is boats, whether it's for luxury, for just family fun, or for fishing. This is Hunt, Hook, and Cook, so it's a pretty safe bet that this week we are going to take a look at some specifics of fishing boats that you should know if you're a first-time buyer. You know, a lot of them are really not sure what they want to do. Some of them might think it's strictly fishing, but they really need something that's good for fishing and for family, you know, and it's kind of... Uh, really just depends what their needs are. Robbie Rankin of Palmetto Boat Sales knows a thing or two because he's seen a thing or two when it comes to first time fishing boat buyers. And the very first thing that you should know before coming in is well, about yourself. What do you really want to do? Do you want to get super skinny water and, and you know just target redfish? Do you fly fish? Do you, do you want you know fish spin and tackle? Are you are you fishing artificials, you know, are you are you want to you know bait fish? Um, or, you know, like say, you want to get into more of the offshore stuff and the pelagic species and all. And that's another point Rankin brings up. It's important to know if you will be doing more inshore fishing or offshore fishing because there are certain boats that are a better fit for each as he goes full fish lingo on us to explain the range and pros each boat can present. From the super skinny waters and the, and the real technical carbon fiber, Kevlar reinforced, vacuum infused, true technical polling skiffs, which will float in you know five inches of water on up to you know the deep V stuff. And uh, the bay boats kind of fall right in between there. And they can be a great option you know, for somebody that wants to do a little bit of inshore stuff. How about for when you actually have the boat? Well, obviously we know technology has come a long way, evident in the terrifying fact that we can now see what we look like when we're 80, whether we like it or not. So naturally, the fishing boat industry has come a long way too, as Rankin discusses some of the add-ons you might want for your first boat. You have your fishing amenities, which may be live wells, you know, for keeping bait alive, uh, fish boxes, storage, that kind of thing. But then you get into like navigation systems, GPS, depth finders, you know, something that's going to make your life a lot easier out there, especially when you're not familiar with the area. For this week's Hunt, Hook and Cook, I'm Logan Reaver.